Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen, welcome back to Cocktails After Dark. We're going to do another cocktail out of the Café Royal cocktail book, published in 1937 by A. Tarling. And the recipe we're going to do today is called the Red Lion, and it's invented by Mr. Tarling, and it won first prize in a cocktail competition in London in 1933. It is a gin cocktail. Um, you know that Julie and I like a good gin cocktail. And I'm going to do it with two different gins with two completely different flavor profiles. And we'll see how this works out. So let's go. And so the first one we're gonna use is Rosemont Gin, Gin de Montréal. And so that is one ounce into that mixing glass. Next, both of them get Grand Marnier. So an ounce each. Oh, do I have enough? Just, just barely. And the second gin I'm going to use is Angava, another Canadian gin. Unique, uh, unique flavor profile, unique color for sure. And then each of them get half ounce of lemon. And a half ounce of orange. Now, before I, uh, before I ice and shake these, this is an award-winning cocktail after all, and it requires a little bit of sugar on the rim. So, I've got the, uh, the carcass of the lemon that I just squeezed, and then we frost the rim in some super fine sugar. And I'll ice and shake these one at a time. And a double strain into the glass. Hey, Glenn. Hey, Jules. Hey, friends. Ooh, that looks fancy. So, this is, it should be, it's, <laughs> it's award-winning. Um, first prize Hoppa. in 1933. It's called the Red Lion. It's interesting because it's not red at all. No, it's not red at all. It go. is not red at all. I was expecting, I don't know what I was expecting. I, I As I read the recipe, I thought, well, it's more yellow. And that one's even more yellow because it's on Gava Gin. It could be a different part of the story we're missing. So you could make up your own. <laughs> oh, in heraldry in England, the Red Lion is... Yeah, yeah this could, is a, could there's be. a whole other story probably to it. That could we be don't anything. Know. All right. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't lend itself to much of a sound, no, does no, it? <laughs> no. Hmm. This one's quite lovely. Yeah. Well, don't get them mixed up, though. This one's different, but also quite lovely. Okay. Very distinctly different. Now, yes. which one's which? This is the Ungava. Okay. Um, and this is the Rosemont. So the Rosemont has uh, a, a little bit of cucumber in it. That one's much more bold. The Ungava is much more bold, and I find it's the a, Rosemont... Well, it's a much more... It's a very bold It is a very gin. bold gin. The Rosemont is a little more subtle, but they're both excellent cocktails. Yes. The sugar really, actually, the sugar, I suspect, is very important to the flavor. Mm-hmm. It, it really adds to the, just kind of the whole... F yeah. I don't know what to say. It just works really nicely. That's really good. That's a really good drink. And I imagine, okay, so you can play with the gins. You can swap with the gins. Grand Marnier is, is just a form of Curacao, an orange liqueur, Curacao. It is a Curacao. No matter what anyone says, it's a Curacao. You could play with a bunch of different Curacaos. Because they all have subtly different flavors. They all have different sugar levels. Like that day we drank Ugh. 20 euros. <laughs> a lot of different flavor. Um, some of them have a, have a more pronounced orange flavor and less sweetness. And, and, and that, all, that interplay is infinitely variable. Now, he asked for Booth's gin, which is something that's not available to us. There you go. So, But that's okay. We have lots of lots gin. Lots of gin. So this, 
This is a winner. I really like this. Yes. Agreed. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.